What's good everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to enable the brush cursor in Prograt and why this can be really important to your digital art. The brush cursor is a simple yet effective tool within Prograt which allows you to see a visual representation of what that brush will look like when you're using your finger or your Apple Pencil on your iPad screen. If you don't have this feature turned on, it can be really hard to understand exactly what's going on because you won't see a representation of that brush. And if we're not seeing a representation of that brush, we're kind of just guessing at what we're doing. Having this feature turned on will make a really big difference to you, your digital art, and your experience with Procreate. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn it on. I'm gonna give you an example using the overhead view of what it'll look like when we're turning it on, but also when we're using it. And then in the end, I'm also gonna go over a few more reasons why this is gonna be really beneficial to you and your digital art within Procreate. All right, let's jump straight in. And firstly, we're gonna to have to have Procreate open. And as you can see here, I've already got an artwork selected, ready to go. First thing first, we're gonna to wanna to tap on our brushes and we're gonna to wanna to select any brush. It's not really important, but for the purpose of this, I'm gonna show you an interesting brush here, a soft pastel, which has got a very unique texture. We're gonna make sure we have that selected. And then we're gonna tap back on our brush icon, which is gonna minimize that menu. Once you've got your brush selected, let's head up to the Actions tab across the top, right next to Gallery. We're going to go along to Preferences across the top menu here, and we're going to go down to Brush Cursor, make sure that is toggled on. From here, our Brush Cursor is now going to be showing. All we have to do is tap outside of this menu anywhere. It's going to take us back to our artwork, and we're ready to go. Now that I've got the Brush Cursor enabled, if I zoom in a little bit here on this Stormtrooper helmet, and I start to use my brush, you're gonna see here, if I keep it on the screen for a second, I'm getting a visual representation of the size and shape of that brush. If I go ahead and increase the size a little bit, you can see it increases the brush cursor. If I decrease it, it decreases it as well. This is gonna be really, really helpful in allowing you to know exactly what's going on on the screen and to help you create better digital art. Now, I know you're wondering, will this really help you when it comes to Procreate? I promise you it will, and I'll give you a really good example of why. Imagine I'm working on a real life canvas and I'm painting some acrylic paints on that canvas with a nice brush that I've selected. I'm able to see that brush. I'm able to see lifetime feedback of what happens with that brush when it touches the canvas. I'm gonna know how much pressure I need to put. I'm gonna be able to work with that brush because I'm gonna have a visual representation of what's going on when it touches the canvas. This is very similar to what happens in Procreate here when I do touch the screen with my Apple Pencil. I'm able to see a visual representation and I'm gonna know if I need to press lighter or harder, or maybe it's coming out too strong so I can down the opacity, and then I'm gonna be able to work from there. If you don't have this brush cursor turned on, you're really just guessing, and no one really likes to guess when it comes to art. I know it's an experimentation, but sometimes we have a really clear vision in our mind of what we wanna get out, and having brush cursor turned on is gonna get us one step closer to getting it out of our minds quicker and into Procreate when it comes to your digital art. And that's it. Now you know how to enable brush cursor, why it's super important, and why I think everyone out there should be using it. Get out there and give it a go. I promise you're gonna love it. I really hope you liked this tutorial today. If you have any ideas for ones I can do in the future, please leave me a comment down below. I really love hearing about what I should do next. And as always, I like, subscribe, and share. It helps me bring you videos each and every week. So until the next video, I'll catch you then.